Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have Lineage OS based on Android 15. So this is an unofficial version of Lineage OS for this device. And the version we are using here is actually 22.1. So as you can see here, unofficial Jinko and Android version is 15. The security patch level is 5th February 2025. So I personally don't really like Lineage OS because it doesn't really provide any kind of customization. And also it is not really that much stable than other ROMs which provides really good features ai features and other things so that's why i don't really like lineage OS. although this rom is purely stock but there is many things to like about this rom so the setting panel as you can see are pretty much similar to all other aosp based rom and the notification panel is also pretty much similar nothing new here in terms of net mobile network wi-fi bluetooth OLT, and bo wi-fi all those things are working pretty well i haven't faced any kind of issue with them sound and vibration working no issue Display setting, we do have adaptive brightness, does work perfectly fine. Night mode, colored settings and few other things are available. Double tap to work and double tap to sleep, working, no issue. All the basic features are working. Wallpaper and style, we don't really have any kind of AI wallpaper here, as you can see. And there are few built-in wallpapers, which are really nice. In the more lock screen section, we do have privacy option and few other options. We don't really have any kind of AOD option. Storage as you can see 41 GB free. In terms of battery, the battery backup is pretty good. We don't really have any kind of fast charging option here, but we do have few options like charging control option, scheduling, and also limit charging. All those things are available. Battery light and battery information. So all these things are available. And the battery backup is pretty good. In the system setting, we do have few options like gesture option. In gesture is working perfectly fine, no issue. In the button section, we do have few other options here as you can see. And show me parts option also available. So you can calibrate the display and clear speaker and all those things are available. In terms of customization, we are not getting much here actually. So if you check status bar section, as you can see, few things are available like quick pull down, network, traffic monitor, all those things and battery style so you can change battery style so in terms of customization only these things are available nothing much and in terms of security and privacy both face and fingerprint unlock available and both of them work pretty well so as you can see here really fast and fluent so no issue with face and fingerprint unlock face unlock going to be slower side and we do have private space option so private space is available and it works beside that there is nothing new Everything is pretty much similar to all other ASP based ROM. In terms of application, we are not getting a lot of application here. There is no GFs built of this ROM, so you have to flash GFs separately if you want GFs. So we do have Xiaomi camera here, which is working pretty well, no issue with that. So camera works, and if you want, you can install Gcam here, so Gcam going to work. And few other things like Google Photos unlimited storage is available. So as you can see here, this pixel can back up unlimited photos, videos. And one surprising thing is that Magic Editor is working. So if I try Magic Editor. And it is pretty fast and fluent actually. So it is. And as you can see here, pretty decent result and working pretty well. Few other things like we don't really have safety net features. So Google Play Protect certification is not there. Bank application and few other applications will not work on this ROM. And private space is working as you can see here. Private space is working. No issue with that. WhatsApp is working. I haven't faced any kind of issue. I did make phone call with WhatsApp. In terms of phone call, the Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi both of them working, but there is no call recording option on this ROM. So that is one of the downsides of this ROM. In terms of gaming, the gaming performance is pretty pretty good actually. For gaming, you can check out this ROM. It is a pretty good ROM for gaming. Overall, the experience of the ROM is pretty good. It is pretty stable and smooth. So as you can see here, everything is working pretty well. I haven't faced any kind of major issues here. So the ROM is daily drivable. The only issues I have found is that safety net is not there, fast charging is not there, and there is no AI feature at all, like even circle to search is also not there. So these are the few issues with this ROM, but in terms of usability, the ROM is pretty much usable. You will not have any kind of issue using this ROM. So if anyone wants to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.